All right, guys, what's going on tonight? Back in the booth for another paint session. Tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna paint a rat using custom insane custom stencils rat wheel number three. A really unique stencil from Russ Allen. Do a really great job. I've actually got the positives too and the negatives. And I've actually cut up the outside into pieces that I can use. Very versatile. I've already started the bait. It's actually a weight bait. And I've actually sprayed the base coat. It's just a, um, a universal flesh tone from Wicked. It's kind of a pinkish color. I kind of like that for a, a base on the rat to start. And the first color I'm going to use is... I'm going to use... Uh, Createx Illustration Sepia, and we'll start layering, layering this rat mouse bait. Put a little bit of paint in here. And like I said, I'm actually spraying on very light pressure. Something I wanted to say about the pressure was. You know, guys, uh, I may spray on light pressure. I hear a lot of questions on our group about, you know, what's the right pressure. I, I think that depends on a whole lot of things. It depends on your gun. It depends on the paint. It depends on what needle you have in the gun, what nozzle. So don't get so caught up in that. And just, you know, kind of find what your style is and and just figure it out and paint that way. Get used to the different pressures and just have some fun with it. There's really no right or wrong. I mean, I've seen guys that can paint awesome baits in, you know, the 25 to 30 pound, uh, pound pressure. I just happen to like lower pressure. That's just my personal preference. That doesn't mean that's what you have to do. So what we're going to do with this bait is I'm going to take the small part first and we're going to I'm just going to start in the back. I'm just going to lay it on there lightly and just test it out here. And I'll just slowly hit a little bit there. And you can see what it does. It'll kind of leave that like fur look on it. It's kind of a cool, cool stencil that Russ has come up with. And I always like to start in the back and move my way to the front of the bait. Just kind of the way I like to do it. You may like to start a different way. And I'll use all parts of the stencil on this. It's such a cool stencil. I kind of like to let it hit off the ends. It kind of makes it look more like fur. And I'll take the bigger one. And it's got smaller little sections on here for the whole wheel. And I'll use it. It's really user friendly. It's got different little sections on there to use. I'll use one of them longer ones right here. Kind of give it some different look. I'm not going to do the bottom. I'm going to leave it light colored. Go back to the top. There's all kind of ways you can do it. I don't generally like it. I like it kind of going all over. Kind of gives it its own unique look. Like I said, you just got to play around with the stencils, have some fun with them. See how you like to do it. 
Like I said, it's a very versatile stencil. Do a lot with it. And like I said, you get, you can use the whole stencil. Like I said, some of the outside I've, I've just cut up and I use them in some of the smaller areas. Kind of dress it up a little bit. Put a little bit on the nose. I'll use this one for that. I kind of like that one better. Put a little bit up on the face here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my gun out. I'm going to change colors. I'm going to put just a little bit of white in. Use some golden titanium white. I'm in trouble getting my paint out for some reason. Well. Back up there. Start running it back. I'm not going to put a whole lot of white on it. Just enough to kind of detail that sepia out a little bit. This is a fun bait to do. I don't do a lot of rats. Take all that sepia out and I'll add a little bit of black to it. Clean my gun out. I 
think with the when you're doing the mice it's all about layering layering some of the different colors in and then now what I'll do is I'll do some black and I'll do some gray and kind of touch it up we'll do a little bit of gray and then I'll finish up with the black Changed over to these caps, and they like to get a little bit clogged up. I need to wipe them off when I get done with them, and I wouldn't have these problems. Put a little bit of gray in. I like to do my top solid black, so that really is not going to be a, a major factor for me. But it does give it a cool look. And like I said, the stencils are real versatile. It'll give it a really neat fur look and you don't have to do a lot to it. baits have a, a very little connection for my for my stand here I got to be a little bit more careful with that okay I'm not gonna put a lot of gray then I'm gonna finish it up with the black and that'll give it a kind of unique hair look Clean this out. Like I said, it's not a hard bait to do. If you're a novice painter, you can just have some fun and play around with the stencils, get used to them. That's what I like about Russ's stencils. They, uh, they're user friendly. There is a learning curve with it. I mean, it's like anything else. You you still got to get used to it and just play with it and get accustomed to it. It's like your airbrush. You got to you got to get used to it and just have some control. We're going to use some golden carbon black to finish it up. Go ahead and finish her up.
It's kind of neat how all the colors do really tie in. You wouldn't think you'd need a bunch, a bunch of color, but I mean, it, it all plays in to what you're doing. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't like to use sepia. Sepia is just a great color and it kind of just really helps with this. It really brings it out. Like I said, everybody's idea about how a, a rat or mouse is gonna look. You gotta just play with it. Get your get your fur down. What I like to do on the stencil here, it actually has your little mouse ears. And I like to set them up on here and I'll do those a little bit dark so they can be seen. Because like I said, when you're starting to layer this bait, it um Do the other side, set it on here, line it up. Ties in pretty good, looks good. Like I said, it's not a hard bait to do. Just depends on, you know, you gotta just be creative with it and see how you wanna do it. I got some black eyes I'm going to put in it. And they're a, a seven millimeter eye. I just actually got these. I can't remember. You can get these black eyes anywhere. I can't exactly remember where I got these. I want to say I got them from Dinger. Put the eyes on it. It kind of comes to life. This thing's going to act up on me. It really has a a cool look. And I'll show you one that I did that's finished. It's actually a, a white one. And it's got a, a screw lock on the back of it. And I'll show you that. You can get these in the bags. It's just a screw lock. And what I actually do is I just attach a trick worm to it, to the back for the tail for whatever color you would like. And it's just a cool little bait you can come up with. And it's got a great action. Caught plenty of fish on it. Paint them in many different colors. I'm going to take and spray a coat of UBLS over this. You're not using this this is a great product super easy to use just thin it down you don't need a lot 
It'll lock all the colors in that you use. Put a little 4011 in here. We're gonna stir that up. I'm gonna grab my bigger gun, take the tape off this while this sits for a second. But you saw how simple that was using the Rat Wheel 3. You can get these at insanecustomstencils.com. Like I said, it's a great, great stencil to play with, to do your rat baits. Have a little bit of fun. He's got great service, great. He'll get them out to you fast. He's got good pricing. And you're not gonna meet a better guy than Russ. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this UVLS in my bigger gun and we're gonna soak this. You, like I said, let me get this tape off real quick. You wanna, um, when you're applying the UVLS, you want to really wet the bait. Like I said, I've said it in previous videos, you want to you want to get it soaking wet where it's got a it'll have a blue kind of a blue haze to it bait turned out pretty good it's not hard to do doesn't take long to paint like i said it just takes a little bit of practice with the stencils and we'll go ahead and hit it. We'll turn our pressure up just a little bit, maybe to about 35, 40. We'll go ahead and hit it and the color start coming out in it. Tape sticking to my gloves. Really comes together. Get those eyes wet. Leave that belly like it is. Has more of a real effect. Get it wet. Takes about uh, about 15 minutes to dry, and it'll be ready to put your top coat on. Whatever favorite, whichever one you like, whether it's True Coat, Defcom, KBS, Tamco. And it'll be good to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hit the like button. Subscribe, please. I'm trying to really build the channel. And go to InsaneCustomStencils.com. Get with Russ. Get you some stencils. Start slinging some paint on them. And y'all have a great night. I'm out of here.